In this video, we're going to talk about how to insert page numbers and change the page numbering structure on a page in InDesign. This also includes inserting other special characters like glyphs and symbols, which are widely used in publishing. So to start with, I have a very simple document set up. It's four pages. It has facing pages, so it has a title page, two pages that are in a spread, and a final page here. This is like the back cover. And I just have one master set up, the A master. Now let's go ahead and make a new master just to start. So I'm going to right click new master and I'll just call this page numbers. Two pages is fine. I'll say OK. And I'll make sure that I'm editing the B master. So within this master, I'm going to create my page numbers at the bottom of the page and I'm going to apply these to the pages that need page numbers. So we're going to do this by first using the type tool and I'm going to create a text box and I'll type in page and then one just for now just as a placeholder. I'm going to pick a different font. Let's do something simple like Arial for now. Make the text a bit larger. And within this frame, I'm just going to center this text so that it's a little bit easier to work with. All right, I'm going to put the page on the left hand side. And I can duplicate this, move it to the right hand side of this page. Okay, great. So this is good. Um, we can apply this master, but obviously it's just going to say page one, page one on each page. We want it to dynamically change this text based on the page that it's on. So the simplest way to do that is to click and edit. I'll just go ahead and delete that number and go to type. And down here in the type menu, we have all different types of special characters. We have insert special character symbols, markers, hyphens, quotation marks, other. We're going to be using markers. Markers are ways to mark where you're currently at. So in this case, we're going to use current page number. So it's going to say page B because we're on the B master. We'll select this one and I'll do the same thing. Type, insert special character, markers, current page number. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and go back to our actual document and take a look at our pages. So they're still blank. We haven't actually applied this effect yet. So one of the simple ways to apply it um, is just to drag and drop that effect on each one of these pages. Alternatively, as we saw in a previous video, we can right click and apply a master manually this way. So I'll say OK. And now I have page two and page three, my title page, my back cover page. Now this is great. But in this case, this actually isn't page two or page three, right? Typically, whenever it comes to books or publications, we number based on the content pages. So we want to typically number our title page, page one. We would usually start with this page being page one. So how do we do that? How do we change these page numbers but still keep them consistent? The simplest way is to select our pages and right click. And we're going to have to turn off these two settings really quickly. So what these are is basically they say, if we make modifications to page numbers, uh, will we shuffle them around? And I'm just going to turn those off. Okay, now I can right click and do numbering and section options. In this case, it says start section. That means it's going to start section where we have selected automatic page numbering. I'm going to change that to start page numbering at, and then I type in whatever number I want to start with. So I'm going to start with one and I'll say, okay. It's going to say, hey, there's already a page number with that number. It's going to, might cause some problems. I'll say, okay. So now we have our page one, our true page one and two, and our back cover. Now, just uh, to keep everything consistent, what I usually will do is I'll go in and then manually change these page numbers to being something other than one. So I'll say automatic page numbering and just change the style to something else like 
maybe this. Say OK. So now it's a Roman numeral one. And I'll go to my last page and do the same thing here. Make sure the style's on that and say OK. And now it's a Roman numeral three. What this does is basically just keeps my pages consistent. For example, if I make a new page, it's going to make page three and number it page three. And I'll still have this page four, Roman numeral four, floating out here. Now, along with these characters, there's other special characters we can insert. So just as an example, I'll go to type insert special character and there's different symbols. For instance, this is a really great way to do like the copyright symbol, certain types of hyphens or dashes, M dash or an N dash. These are special dashes used in publishing. Same thing with special spaces over here, like the M space and the N space or all these different other types of spaces. This is kind of like a substitute for kerning that's really useful. Now, alternatively, if you want a larger selection of, of symbols to choose from, we can go to the glyphs panel. And the glyphs panel has any sort of object you could ever think of within that font. So I'm gonna make sure I'm on regular. I'm just going to zoom this in a little bit so it's easier to see. And down here I can choose my font. So there's all different sorts of fonts. We'll go through some of those in a second. And as I scroll through all these symbols, you can see there are a ton of symbols within this font, multiple different languages, different character styles. What this allows you to do is wherever you have selected, if I simply double click, it will insert that symbol and also adds it to my recently used list. And now that symbol is part of my page. So I might want to use something like this little sun. Let me just adjust this so that we can still see our page number. So that might be one example. There's other fonts within here that we can use. So if I type in, for instance, Wingdings, Wingdings is a symbol-based font. So it's all symbols. And there's all different kinds of symbols in here. So we could do this kind of great mailbox. Webdings is another type of symbol-based font, which has even more things. So this game controller, these all get inserted into our document.